Hey guys, today we'll be talking about how to quickly and efficiently organize your chests. Many people find this task tedious, but it's easier than you think and it's crucial especially later game once you enter hard mode. In this video, I'm going to go over the simplest and quickest way to organize. Let's get into it. Firstly, money should be stored in a piggy bank which can be bought from the merchant for cheap. This is very simple. Now, in terms of structure, I prefer rows of chests stacked on top of each other with rows of platforms. Start with the most important categories such as ores, materials, blocks, furniture, and a class specific chest. In the ores chest, you're going to want bars and ores. Materials chest should be any item that has the word material in the description when you hover over it, with the exception of tools, weapons, and a few others. Block chest should have all the blocks in it, pretty straightforward. Furniture should have almost any furniture that you can place down, such as chairs, tables, extra health forges, and more. Lastly, for the first row, the class specific chest should have all important items pertaining to the class you are playing. For example, if you are playing ranger, then some items that should be in this chest are arrows, bullets, important extra ranger accessories, and anything else you deem appropriate. Next, let's do the second most important categories. Here I would include wiring, accessories, banners, tools, and boss summons. Wiring should include anything related to wires, such as wrenches, traps, and even certain useful statues like the heart, mana, and slime statue if you'd like. Accessories is pretty straightforward. Anything that you can equip in an accessory slot should go here. The banner chest should be filled with mob banners that give bonuses, not regular banners that are just for decoration. The tools chest is where I usually put things like any bombs, torches, rope, pickaxes, axes, and more. Lastly, the boss summons chest is pretty straightforward. Any boss summoning items and invasion summoning items like solar tablet or pirate map should be included in here. For the last row, I would include categories that you don't have to access often, such as statues, vanity, weapons, mounts, dyes, and miscellaneous. The statue chest doesn't have to include statues that are actually useful, like the heart statues. Most of just decorative statues, like the angel statue. Vanity is pretty straightforward. This chest will likely fill up fast, so get ready to make more. Weapons is also straightforward. I usually like to sell most of my weapons for money, but any extra ones I want to keep, I put there. Mounts and dies is pretty straightforward as well. Some super specific items may not fit into any category, so these ones are for the miscellaneous chest. For potions, I like to make a separate station where I put potion ingredients like plants and fish, seeds, and the potions themselves. I usually keep this station near the garden and fishing pool if I have one so that it's just a nice compact fishing, planting, and potion area. I also prefer using barrels because it fits with the aesthetic, but you can obviously use chests. When organizing the chest, it's also good to put a number on each label. For example, the materials chest is one that usually gets filled up quickly since there are so many materials in the game. Because of this, I'll name the first materials chest Mats 1, and then when I need more space, I'll name the next materials chest Mats 2. On one last note, in this video I went over a very easy and vague way to organize. However, you can always subdivide into even smaller groups. Here are some possible subdivisions you may want to consider. Battle potions versus utility potions, building blocks versus non-building blocks, ores versus bars, Plants vs. Seeds, Melee vs. Ranger vs. Mage vs. Summoner items and weapons, Equipment like bombs and torches vs. Tools like pickaxes and axes, Crafting stations vs. Regular Furniture. And that's it. If you haven't already, make sure you guys follow my Instagram down below. If I miss any category, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys found this useful. Remember to like and sub and I'll see you guys in the next one.